Okay, hello, good day, everybody. So um, I just want to do a very short video. Two things. First, I want to tell you how to fix SSL using a free platform. There are several ways you could buy SSL for $10. There are different types of SSL. A very basic SSL is going to help protect the data between your, your site and your server so that it's encrypted. Uh, a basic SSL is going to go from $10 to 1314 Then if you want what they call um wild card uh ssl uh wild card w i l d c a r d right so that you could protect something that looks like blog dot dot uh careers dot com if you want to do that kind of thing you will need and you want the ssl to also cover these subdomain names right you will need to buy a wildcard SSL. An average price of a wildcard SSL is roughly around from 50, 60, 80 dollars around that range. Then you have some other premium SSL. There are several types of SSL depending and each of them have different types of assurance. Now, but if you want to do for a basic website to protect and have SSL, and by the way, that the site have SSL doesn't mean the website is not going to be vulnerable to a cyber attack. It doesn't mean. So there are, there are several inroads into a website. It can be through the SSL communication between data, uh, data, the website to the server. It can be through the code base. How was the website coded? How was the website developed? It can be as a result of uh, the uh, login access. It can be as a result of the forms, how the forms were created. There are several ways the website can be uh, hacked. Uh, so that's to say that several inroads to a website uh, vulnerability. So you have a very complete um, um, documentation of that on OAP's top 10. So the OAP's top 10 tells us all the different things with respect to web security that a developer should know in terms of securing his website. So uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are the ten uh, 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 open web application security. Uh, what open web application security project actually talked about as inroads uh, for a website to be hacked. So uh, the most common is going to be injection, insecure design, where you just pick up a template and design your website. Uh, cryptographic failures, which is not so common. Uh, security misconfiguration, especially for newbies uh, deploying applications. Vulnerable and outdated components, I've seen this very, very often. And of course, uh, security logging and monitoring failures. You know, when you deploy a web application and you fail to make sure that you implement some features to, to ensure uh, monitoring, because if you implement security and you don't monitor, then you have a problem, right? So, so one of the ways you can uh, make a website less vulnerable is to add SSL to it. So the, the site of concern is uh, this is Solar, right? Uh, so you could use, uh, uh, what was it called? You could use uh, Cloudflare. I've used Cloudflare for quite a lot of uh, SSL. So as you can see, there are so many. If you got about 34 currently. So I will just add this site. So you open a Cloudflare account, right? Sign up an account, open a Cloudflare account, once you get to your dashboard, you're going to see somewhere like this, right? Click on website, then go to add new. Then you got to fix this uh, site's name here, right? Without the, um, the, 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 the extensions, add, uh, rather the, the HTTPS. So you see, you have a $20 plan. You have a, $200 plan, you have a custom price. Now, each of them, we'll talk about WAF later. So WAF is Web Application Firewall. So if you need to pay for a WAF, so this is going to give you an enhanced security on the website, right? So, but what do you get for free? So you have a D -D DNS and you have a DDoS protection, a distributed denial of service. You have a global CDN, uh, content delivery network. So it slightly makes your website a little bit faster. Then you have some basic, very basic uh, five WAF rules. Okay, so I will pick this plant because I want to go free. Then I will click on continue. So depending on when you're watching this video, your interface, if you're watching a little bit uh, longer from the time of this uh, 
uh, demo, your interface may be slightly different, but the step is going to be very, very similar. Okay, so you that's step one of three. Okay, so uh, I had a little bit of pause. So now the next stage you're going to see is that review your DNS record. So what's DNS? So DNS is domain name server or domain name service. Now every website host is going to have a server. Every domain name is going to have a server where files are kept. So that server is going to have a name that identifies the server. And that name is what we call the DNS. So it's going to have a kind of a record. So what you're trying to do now is to map your website's name to the Cloudflare servers so that Cloudflare can offer you SSL, it can offer you DNS service, it can offer you uh, distributed DNA of service um, um, service, right? So I'm just going to go down here. And so you see the lot of mapping that has been done. It's going to be mapping your all of your domain name, your services to its own uh, services. Your server is going to be mapping it to yours only, uh, to yours. So I'm just going to click on continue. So the next thing I'm just going to do is to make sure that uh, these two name servers that have been assigned to me by Cloudflare, I want to go to my own hosting account and fix these two name servers so that within some minutes or moments or maximum 24 hours, it can map my website to the Cloudflare service. And once that successfully happens, automatically my website will now be pointing to Cloudflare service instead of Southtech hosting service. And thereby Cloudflare services uh, giving me SSL and also additional CDN and distributed denial of service uh, protection. So at times it can take up to 24 hours and that will be all. So I will copy these two names and keep it somewhere and go to my host and add it. Okay, so this is Southtech hosting. If you use Southtech hosting, you log into your account. So you're going to see your services where you have your, your, your server, that is your hosting account, your domain names where you have your domain names. So all you need to do is to go to your services and you're going to see that... Uh, this is the service that you have. You click on it. So uh, it's going to tell you uh, just a second. Okay, let me go back to, let me go back to my services. I think, let me click on the domain name just somewhere here. Right, um, just a moment. So what what I what I get to my domains, I will come to this um, gear setting uh, 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 option. I'll click on it, and I'm going to see private name servers. I'm going to see name servers, right? So all I need to do is to click on the name servers. This is where I can change. So originally, now once you purchase a website, a hosting account on Southtech Hosting, you're going to be having these two name servers. So what I want to do now, I want to point this right to this. Right, uh, so I'll copy the second name server. So I'm typically going to change that, right? And I'll just change name servers. 